You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. What's going on, my visionary dreamers? I'm still here at the Atlanta Christmas Gift Expo, and I came up on these two beautiful young ladies, young entrepreneurs. I mean, they just get younger and younger. Um, And they have a company called Slime Time, and they are the Slime Sisters. Introduce yourself to the listeners. What's your name? Tell them your name. My name is Kamaya. My you? name is Samaj. Samaj? Samaj. Samaj. Okay, so sisters, slime sisters, how did y'all come up with this idea to create slime? My mom, when we were watching slime videos, we showed it to my mom, and then um, she saw us, um, then she started to let us make slime for its slime business. Aww. And, and so... How do you feel about this business now? I feel happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when other kids see the slime that y'all make and know that y'all in business and making money from it, what do they say? Alexa, she wants to help. Alexa wants to help. So some of your friends want to help? So what do you think about that? Happy. You're happy? Tell the listeners how old you are. And say your name so they can know which one is talking, okay? My name is Kamaya, and I'm eight years old. My name's Samaj, and I'm nine years old. Y'all see that, listeners? I, I mean, they just get younger and younger. This is, this is the thing. You have to support your kids. If they want to do something, it doesn't matter the age. So I want to talk to Mom over here for a little brief moment. So, Mom, please tell the listeners your name. My name is Jasmine Davenport. And Jasmine, so what made you say, okay, I'm going to get behind my kids and um, help them to start this business? Um, I have been doing a lot of entrepreneur things myself, and um, I really wanted to do something with the kids, something with that we could spend more family time. And, um, you know, Slime, is it's a multi-billion dollar business, and I just felt like if anybody's going to get in on the money, it should be us. We, we know it very well. The kids are slime connoisseurs. <laughs> That's wonderful. So how many kids do you have? Like, what is, how do you balance helping them out and being a mom? Um, I have three children, Samaj and Kamaya, and my son King is five. Um, I work full time during the week, and then on the weekends we just we make slime, we make squishies, um, and just recently we decided to start doing um, sand art as well as a part of our product line. So. Um, just mostly on the weekends we do it, and then we go out and do events, um, and also birthday parties. Oh, ooh, that's a great idea, birthday parties. So with the birthday parties, um, now tell the people where you're from. We're originally from the Bay Area, from Santa Rosa, California. And where can they find um, your business? How can they get in touch? You guys can uh, follow us on Facebook. We're under Slime Time. And on Instagram, it's We Are Slime Time. And that's um, S-L-Y-M-E-T-Y-M-E, Slime Time. Okay. That is so awesome. Um, so where do you see Slime Time going? Like, where, what is your vision and the kids' vision for Slime Time? I mean, I know they're young, but have they, you know, expressed anything um, as far as where they want to take it or how far? Or do you even have a a vision knowing your kids? Let's say that. I just think, you know, as far as we can go, um, definitely we would like to do more birthdays, more corporate events would be really nice. Um, We can make the squishies in any design, any color pattern. So um, I would just say as as far as we can, birthdays would be nice, larger events, um, and eventually we'll have a storefront um, and a website for you guys to purchase online. And we're going to be starting our YouTube channel next month so that you guys can really get um, an inside look at the process of how to make everything, how we color it, um, and just, you know, what we do on a day-to-day basis. That's great. That's great to share the process with people. So I'm going to get back to these slime sisters. So slime sisters, how do y'all balance out playtime and work making this slime? Is it is it hard for y'all to balance it out? No, 
it's fun and so like when when I was like um six years old I used I um used to watch slime um videos like all the time and then I asked my mom if we can make like slime and stuff and she said yeah and stuff. Great, great. What about you? How do you feel? Yeah, how do you balance your homework and school and making the slime? My homework is easy. Um, I need help with some parts and the slime. It's kind of hard because um, some like some things that make the slime, it doesn't work, and so we have to use different products for it. Okay, so and then when when that happens, is that frustrating to y'all when it's not working out the way you want to? Like when we like mix the slime, it makes our arms tired. Wow. So that means that these ladies are putting in hard work, guys. This is not an easy business. They're putting in hard work, they're putting their love, and they're having fun with their business. So is it anything that y'all would like to say to other kids that might want to get into business? Follow your dreams. So what would you like to say? Have a good day. <laughs> In other words, always appreciate your days and be happy, right? Be happy all the time. So I want to thank you, Slime Sisters, for coming on the show. Thank you, Mom, for having them. Is there anything that you would like to say to parents um, as far as, you know, if their kids have any type of dreams or visions? Definitely, um... Just find something that you can incorporate the kids, you know, um, as a single mother, finding time to, to spend with your family um, is kind of hard. So if you can incorporate something that can also help financially and something that you guys can do that you all enjoy, it really just helps the kids to want to interact more and it just makes for a smoother process. So definitely encourage your kids, ask them what their ideas are, talk to them and just see what they're good at. And whatever it is, just, you know, relish on those talents and, and try to turn it into a business. Great, great. Well said. Thank you guys for coming on to the show. We really, really appreciate y'all, okay? I really hope that y'all enjoy each and every one of those interviews. And it seems that the theme of this conference was family. You know, family coming together to help out each other's dreams and visions. And, you know, we don't get a lot of that these days. You know, the first interviews with two sisters and a daughter. And then the second one was two lovely young ladies. And the fact that their mother, you know, um, really decided to I'm not going to say sacrifice, but in some ways it can be a little bit of sacrifice, especially when you have to, your single mom taking care of three kids and you have to balance out everything. Um, and then the last one, it, a lovely, lovely young lady, that whole family was there, mother, father, sisters, I mean, Doran, you know, it just, it made me feel good. It made me feel good to see that. And it pretty much made me feel like, you know, if there can be these three groups of visionary dreamers that can come together as a family, then there is hope for all of us out there. So, and I'm not saying that it's always meant to bring family in on your business, but you know, just use your intuition. You know who you can reach out to for that support. And always remember, like I said, you know, you have to surround yourself as I think one, yeah, not think, I know, one of the uh, conversations I had, we talked about that, surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So sometimes you might have to get away from family and friends and seek out others that are like-minded so that you can be motivated and you can be encouraged. But if you know any family members that are very true to their heart and really genuine with the love and the support that they are willing to give you, then don't, don't shut that out. Don't get in your own way of that. But always, always pay attention to your intuition, follow your spirit. Um, when you are quiet, when you are still, that's when you know it's real. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a little raw. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for all of your support, for supporting the books and purchasing the books, Visionary Dreamer, 90 Day Journal, and Transform Your Life, the Visionary Dreamer workbook available on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. I thank you guys for your support. I thank you for all the wonderful emails, the feedback. I really is all dear to my heart. Trust me. I, I take nothing for granted. I appreciate each and every last email. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. So always know that. So until next Sunday, I love, love, love you guys. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit. And you are tuned in to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. And that is all you can ask of yourself. Until next Sunday. Peace. I love you guys. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.